Why is that? Our final fight has begun. Hi, my name's Sophie Baverstock. I'm a professional makeup artist specialising in special effects. I've been a Doctor Who fan since I was about six, so a very long time. <laughs> Today I'm going to be transforming myself into one of the most iconic monsters from Doctor Who, the Weeping Angels. The Weeping Angels are quantum-locked humanoid statues that basically feed off energy of their victims. You can't move so long as I can see you. So when you look at them, they don't move and they turn to stone. And when you don't look at them, that's when they attack. My first memory of Doctor Who was the revival in 2005. I honestly can't look at mannequins the same now because of the utons in the first episode. And I think that the Weeping Angels definitely are reminiscent of that sort of monster where they're just so prevalent everywhere you look. definitely was the TV series that got me into makeup. When I went on Glow Up, my pre-interview, I dressed in like a sort of shirt, tie, jumper, jacket situation. That was definitely me sort of channeling the doctor just to give me a bit more confidence in the show. It was just in the back of my head that like, at least I look like him a little bit. I felt like him a little bit. <laughs> If I was the Doctor and I could choose anyone in time and space to be my friend, I would definitely pick someone with a bit of personality and a bit of weirdness. So I would say Andy Warhol, mainly because their personalities would gel really well together and there'd be some really cool artwork in the TARDIS. <laughs> In time, I would go back to the 80s. My mum's stories about it have just made me wish that I was kind of there. And if I could go anywhere in space, it would be to somewhere pretty simple. I think I'd just go to like the moon, just to like sort of just look and see what the Earth looked like from there and just see if the flag was kind of there or not. I think that Jodie's interpretation of the Doctor is just perfect and it really reminds me of myself, like her personality is spot on. Tim Shaw. How long's it been? 3,407 years. I bet the seven really dragged. Definitely the fact that she gets excited over everything. Is anyone else excited? I'm so excited. It's like that's me in my head. Is anyone excited? Because I'm really excited. You won't be if it's a bomb. Don't kill the vibe, Graham. And I wish that I could be like that a bit more outwardly. So it's nice to see her sort of just go crazy with that personality. I'm so excited for the new series, especially because it's on Halloween, so it's two of my favourite things at once. My three pieces of advice for Halloween tonight for anyone doing a makeup is definitely do something you're passionate about, create a character. My second bit of advice is to go all out. And then my third bit of advice as a makeup artist is don't put anything over your eyes. Don't be silly, don't wear contact lenses that you can't see out of. And definitely just be safe with the makeup that you use, especially special effects.